Hi, I'm Shale and this is the eighth part of the Word Edit Wrapper tutorial slash showcase. And sadly this is the last part that we will do be doing. Um, in this part uh, we will cover uh, the getting around comments, that is uh, those movement comments, uh, as well as every comment that has been there but I either forgotten about it uh, or or just couldn't put it anywhere and just you know random comments and basically we re revising all we've learned all right so the first one when it comes to getting around is the ascent slash descent comment so the ascent comment will put us on um, where i need to delay that uh, will put us uh, on top of the next floor of the building or in case of one floor buildings it will put us on the roof so let's do as actually what one slash ascend and we are on top of the roof we can do a descent right now and we will be in the lowest possible uh, point of the room below us okay the next comment is the ceiling comment that will bring us to the ceiling logically all right so we have to uh, write sail and our ta head now touches the ceiling there is a glass block uh, put under our feet so that uh, we don't fall because we're not f uh, we're not flying right now we're just standing uh, on this glass block if we step uh, from it uh, it won't disappear or anything we have to destroy it with our hand uh, the ceiling comment uh, can have a clearance specified uh, and uh, in this case you you will have uh, the clearance between your head and ceiling uh, as much of it as you state so let's say like four and we're now four blocks away from the ceiling and standing on the glass block okay the next comment uh, is the through comment and through comment uh, basically takes us through the wall we're staring at right now uh, though we have to be in some logical distance from the wall like this will not work while this will same goes for here we can't go through the ceiling right now we would normally be able to like if we fly up we are able to get past the ceiling uh, all right, and the thickness of the wall has to be reasonable as well. It can't be like really, really, really thick because it won't take us to the other side of it. Um, all right, so the next uh, command uh, is the jump to. And jump to uh, means basically that we will uh, get to the block we're staring at right now. If the block uh, is on a wall like ver ver vertical wall uh, this will take us to the top of the wall like the the very top of the wall <laughs> okay so let's just jump to and we're now inside this building while if we point here and type jump to we will be on top of this wall that we were staring at all right so let's get to the building again And I've already showed you the ascent and descent commands, but I haven't said anything about ascending a few floors at once. So we're in a high building right now. There are a few. There's a few floors here, uh, and we can get. Uh, it's it's color coded. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's color coded. So like blue, red, orange, and yellow for every floor. And let's say we want to be on the orange floor right now. So instead of just writing ascend and clicking enter, I mean hitting enter, we have to specify the number of floors we want to be taken. And we're now on the orange floor. Um, if we ascend any uh, two levels right now, we'll be on the roof. And now we can descend. Uh, three floors for example and we're on the red floor 
Uh, the good thing about this, uh, I mean, we can go through the uh, walls like this, uh, but the good thing is if you have color-coded uh, floors like I do, uh, you can just stare at the, at the indication and just go descend and see what floor you're at. You don't have to stare at the floor or the ceiling. Alright, so the next thing is up. Up is a command that will take you up a few blocks without actually flying. Uh, and it will of course place a blast glass block beneath your feet so that you have something to stand on. So let's go up 15 blocks. And as you can see, we are up. There's a glass block and we are not flying. We just fell from this glass block. This is really useful if you're um, playing... Uh, survival with these uh, comments, you can just get somewhere up really quickly. And the last thing uh, is unstuck. And unstuck, uh, you probably remember in uh, part 4 generation, we're generating pretty big structures and we often got stuck in them and I had to punch my way out uh, because I didn't want to sp like do a spoiler with this command I didn't want to uh, get into explanation uh, what this is about uh, basically let's form a pyramid around us of stone um, did I do something wrong? Alright, I did something wrong. Uh, okay, and now we're stuck. Uh, I can't even guess where the bottom or the top is or which way I'm staying at, uh, staring at. So punching my way out is a pretty tedious task right now. So I can just type unstuck. And this will immediately bring me on the top of the structure uh, to the first free block on top of it. And actually I was staring this way. And that's some wise sheep right right there. <laughs> she was hiding from the rain. Alright, so this is it for the getting around comments. And I will see you in a couple of seconds in the random comments section. Alright, and I'm here. I didn't move that far. Um, this is the random comments section. And first off, we will start with the biomes comments. Uh, which come pretty in handy uh, if you need to do something on a really wide space. Uh, let's select this one and let's write biome info. Uh, this will list all the biomes in our selection. Here it's only that, but if we do something like this and type it now, it will list all the all the possible biomes that we have here. And there's actually six of them. Uh, Alright, uh, the next comment is biome list, which will list all the biomes uh, available right now uh, in the game. We can go to the second page, to the third page, and finally to the fourth page and this is short only like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I hit escape one time one time too much. Uh, Alright, and the last thing when it comes to biomes is setting biomes. So basically let's have a selection like this and all we have to do is type set biome. <laughs> uh, I can't write right now. Uh, and basically we can choose whatever bi biome we want, let's say jungle or I don't know, hell even, hell is nether. And right now this is set to hell, but if we step in it, uh, this will still explain planes uh, in the second to last uh, line here. Uh, because it will only work after we reset the game, I mean after we leave and enter the world again. So basically it looks like this. Here it is desert, swampland, taiga, river, and jungle. And basically, if uh, 
if there is a possibility like this, uh, the color of the glass grass will change. Uh, so as you can see, it's a little bit different in every in each and every of these biomes. Um, and basically, in the desert, it doesn't rain. I I can't manage to do so that in the taiga it will pour snow instead of rain. I mean, snow would fall. Uh, I just can't do it. I didn't figure how to do it. I can't find a way out of my problem. <laughs> so if anybody knows uh, how to make it snow in Taiga, just please tell me. Uh, and of course, it, it won't switch the grass to sand or whatever. You have to, you have to place the sand yourself. And as I said, uh, nothing changed here. Uh, this will only change after you reload the world again. Alright, so next thing that I forgot to tell tell you about, and we'll actually need a tool for that, is the hollow uh, command. Alright, so let's set a brush. And here we have a nice little sphere. Uh, it's not hollow, it's full, but we can make it hollow right now. We just have to select it. Is this big enough? Yep, it's big enough. Actually not here, but this is good. <laughs> uh, this is good for showing you what this is about. Uh, and let's, let's expand it 7 up. So it should be 1... Yeah, it's 1 over the top. Hey, I need to fall. And now hollow. Just write hollow and see what happens. Here it was at the edge of the selection, so this wall got uh, removed as well. And as you can see, we have a pretty hollow sphere here. So basically, uh, if the selection was a little bit farther uh, into this, uh, where are we standing at right now? It's east. Uh, if, if it was uh, a little bit like one farther into the east, this hole would not happen and we would get just a hollow sphere. But to show you how exactly this works, let's set this to stone and now let's type hol hollow. And as you can see, this gets rid of every box in the selection. So basically, if you want to uh, leave some walls, you have to make the selection uh, one block bigger than than the actual thing you want to hollow. Uh, then we have outset. I didn't. S I mean, I told you about inset, but I forgot about outset. And outset basically goes like this: you specify a number, and it uh, makes the selection bigger in every direction so that's down up and every direction uh, every horizontal direction uh, all right the next thing that i forgot to tell about and all of these comments will be added to their respective descriptions and stuff and they will also be listed here uh, so basically the deselect i forgot to tell you about it bam selection cleared and the last commands uh, that we've talked about, actually, uh, we've talked about undo, but I never got around to explain how it works. If we hit undo right now, this will not undo the deselection, it will only undo actual, uh, actual actions that were uh, taken within the selection. So like this one. And we can undo farther, so it disappears. And even farther, so our sphere becomes full and of course right now we can redo as well and do it to the point where there's nothing more to redo so that's it that's it for the award edit wrapper uh, i will probably make another uh, tutorial in the future uh, that will deal with the more advanced uh, comments like uh, generation of arbitrary shapes uh, using uh, mathematic equations. 
uh, we didn't get around to do that because that's really advanced and I would have to spend a whole part on it so I just wanted to do all the basic stuff you can do with water ditch wrapper so that you could just freely enjoy it on your single player words so yeah that's it uh, this is the last part probably or maybe they will be more in the future but certainly not right now I need to concentrate on other mods as well uh, this has been a really long actually if we count all the all the time uh, I spent on making these tutorials I mean that's eight parts uh, and yeah there are other great mods as well so thank you for watching this last part of the word edit wrapper uh, showcase tutorial uh, I hope you found it useful but if anything just ask me questions in the comment section below or send a private message to me or ask questions under any of the other parts uh, if those questions have to do uh, with things that are in those other those other parts and yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye